So this is the new AirPods Pro Generation 2. I just thought the packaging is kind of cool because it's like three-dimensional. And we're just going to unbox this. I'm going to use it today because I have a meeting coming up. Um, and I'm going to try to pair it with my PC to see how it works with multi-device support. So let's just open it up. Got it brand new from Best Buy. Got a view or April 2. Um, Amazon has this for $10 cheaper than Best Buy, so probably a better place to get it if you don't need it in a hurry. Bunch of stickers, how to use, how to pair. If you have the iPhone, it's extremely easy to pair. Okay, so you don't really need a whole bunch of instructions. You just put it next to your iPhone and it should be paired. This is the case itself. Feels like a little slimmer um, in my hand because I remember my old AirPods Pro, which my wife uses now. It's a little thicker. This one is thinner, I feel. More stuff. The charging cable. Quite long. That's nice. This is different Air, um, AirBuds. I just opened up the um, the earbuds um, so you guys can take a closer look. So now they include four pairs, one, two, three, and probably another pair right here, the medium size. Um, so fits your ear better. Um, but for my old AirPods Pro, it already has a pretty good fit. I'm just gonna open up the packaging. Always fun unboxing. Okay. And the case, again, glossy, but will get scratched pretty easily. So if you want to get a case, you should. Finally, they had a lanyard socket over here. Okay, so you can finally put it on a lanyard. Um, also added microphone or the speaker. Pretty nice. Um, I think that's all the changes there is for the case. Again, it's more slimmer, supports wireless charging. Okay, try to open it with one hand right here. All right. Oh, yeah, you can actually hear the sound, which is pretty nice. So it's easier to find the case if you lost it. Itself. Not much has changed compared to the first generation. It still feels pretty like the first gen. Um, again, I have no complaint about the first gen. I have been using it for quite a while till my wife needed a uh, wireless headset. Give it to my wife. And now since the Pro 2 come out, I just went and bought another pair. Um, the difference would be the touch sensitive strip over here for volume adjustment. So you have a little more options in terms of uh, shutting it, shutting the music down or changing the volume for the music. And of course, the new spatial awareness um, sound, which I think is cool, but probably doesn't apply as much for me. Um, so again, unboxing is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna use it and then I'm gonna come back, give you guys a uh, first impression or overview of what I think about the AirPods Pro 2 and whether you should upgrade if you already have uh, AirPods 1. So see you guys in the next section. So one thing interesting is um, after um, I tried to pair the AirPods Pro Generation 2 with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, the phone actually did not allow me to pair the headset and actually asked me to update my iOS first to either version 15.7 or 16.1 so that's what I did I upgraded to the newest 16.1 and then I was able to proceed with pairing the phone by just opening it up and put it next to my phone which was a very very easy pairing process so um, I tried to take the tips off to replace it because 
I usually wear a size small. As you can see, they even have size extra small for air canals that's even smaller. Okay, this is what it looks like without the air tip. And you just snap it on and snap it off to install pretty, pretty easy, okay? Uh, interesting thing is um, it also comes with six months of Apple Music for free, so I signed it up. Uh, remember to cancel it if you don't want to pay, but it does come with six months of free music. Alrighty, folks. So I think now um, I should be able to give you guys a conclusion after using this for a few weeks now. Um, as you can see, it's already pretty scratched up. So uh, the AirPods Pro Generation 2, the case is pretty much similar to the old one. Uh, it's plastic glossy, but as you can see, it's super easy to get scratched. Um, in terms of actual use, um, it doesn't really feel any different than the AirPods uh, Pro first generation. Um, I actually do feel that those AirPods Pro uh, second gen is slightly less comfortable for prolonged wear compared to my first gen. And I think the reason being the design or the shape of the AirPods Pro second gen is actually changed slightly compared to the first gen. They are slightly bigger. Uh, which made them slightly less comfortable compared to the first gen. But um, that is my only complaint about um, the AirPods Pro Gen 2 overall. And uh, the sound quality, um, I can tell you guys that uh, it is an improvement compared to the first generation. Um, the sound, it just sounds slightly more lively um, if I'm playing any kinds of music. Um, so definitely there is improvement for sound quality. And uh, um, the cool thing for the second gen is the, uh, I think, spatial uh, music, which it actually, uh, with your iPhone, it detects uh, where your head is in position to your iPhone, and it actually plays the music uh, kind of like in a spatial setting. So if you turn your head, you're, you're actually here, um, the music actually, like, you know, uh, the sound actually goes to the side and goes to the other side, which is actually really, really cool, okay? So I think it's, it's gimmicky, but it's actually really cool if you actually enable it and you enjoy it. But for me, uh, the basic stereo settings works perfectly fine for me. And uh, uh, it does have the lanyard connection, but again, I just keep it in my pocket. It's getting scratched up and banned up, but uh, you know, it doesn't really affect the use at all. Another cool feature or improvement compared to the first gen is actually the added a speaker here. So it's easier to find the AirPods Pro uh, Gen 2. If you actually lost it, I think you can play a sound um in your phone to find it and also when you connect it uh, to charge it gives you a sound uh, to let you know it's connected which is really nice and again also applies to um, making a connection to your pc or to your macbook um, it works fine on pc with a bluetooth connection i tried it uh, during a zoom meeting uh, no complaints over there and it just also pairs seamlessly uh, or pairs back seamlessly with your you know iphone um, you just, you know, put it on your phone and then you open it up. Um, I think you don't even have to click the connection button, or maybe you have to, um, but it's just a two second connection. Really, really quick to go back to the, to pair it with your iPhone. So overall, a fantastic value. And um, in terms of noise cancellation, works slightly better than the first gen. Again, first gen is already fantastic. This one, I, I think just blocks out the sound just a little bit better compared to the first gen. Um, and the environmental awareness, um, I didn't notice any significant change compared to the first gen. It works great uh, while I'm riding my bicycle and I turn on the environmental awareness or adaptive um, sound, whatever it's called on the Apple, uh, by Apple. Um, I can hear the car coming from the back from really, really far away. If I actually, you know, not wearing any headset, it will actually is harder to hear any cars coming from behind. With the headset, um, it's much easier to actually hear the cars from far away. So I think this is actually really great for, uh, if you turn the adaptive you know, uh, environmental awareness on, it's great for um, your safety when you're riding your bicycle. Um, as, as I do, I, I bike commute quite a lot and I actually put my AirPods Pro 2 on uh, with the environmental awareness turned on and it works fantastic. And you guys know what? 
uh, I'm concluding this video because uh, right now it's close to Black Friday and it's um, I got this AirPods Pro at Best Buy for $240. Right now it's on sale for $199 on Amazon, which is great. Uh, I think they're running this promotion throughout the Black Friday and it's starting right now. So I put a link uh, you know, down below if you guys are interested in getting the second gen. I would say definitely go for it. Um, if you ask me whether you should get the first gen or the second gen, now with the sale, it's definitely a no-brainer. You should just pick the second gen because the first gen, I think uh, it's being sold for like $169. With that added $30, um, there's quite a lot of improvements for the second gen. So if you're not, you know, uh, cash strapped, you should definitely go for the second gen on sale for $199 during the Black Friday promotion currently going on, okay? So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I know the first part is kind of like a no sound unboxing, but um, I want to make sure to give you guys a conclusion on what I think about the second gen, uh, especially compared to the first gen. Again, um, I think it's well worth the extra 30, 40 bucks to get this on sale. Um, otherwise, if you're cash strap, strapped, uh, get the first gen. Um, it, it really works fantastic for a lot of applications, okay? So uh, thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.